Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the start of the 2025-2026 season. If you watched last episode you will have known that um, last season we won both the league and the FA trophy as well which is really good um, and I thought you know um, coming into this new season I had to do a lot of investment and um, so we're going to take a look at that now. In the squad um, not many of these players were here uh, in the previous season, so I'll just take you through. I'll take you through all the players anyway, just to kind of remind you of the players that we have um, in the squad anyway. So starting with Tyler Dixon, uh, still still with us from last season. Um, he came originally from uh, well Sutton really, but yeah, why come to us? And the other goalkeeper in our squad, Louis Molden from Wolves. In the right side of the fence we have still Kieran, so no changes in goalkeeping and no changes, no changes as well in the right of the defence. Kieran and Jay, still the two players for for that position. In the left side of the fence we have one new player, so Jensen Jones is new to the squad. He's on loan from Sunderland to us. The other player of course still being Mackenzie Lemon, so no change there for the second player. In the fence, quite a lot of changes. We only have one remaining um, the central defender, the wide centre-back, Daniel Devine. So he's still with us. But we have lots and lots of new players, most of them on loan. We have Hayden Holland on loan to us from Barnet. Uh, we have uh, also on loan, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, Jokubaz Mazionis, a uh, Lithuanian from Ipswich. And then also on loan, um, we have Philippe Dua from Redden. And then we have two players that we actually got on free transfers. Joni Alfred Aljofre uh, used to play for Man United. Uh, from the Man United school, I guess. And then Cam... Candola. There we go. Also in the centre defending position. Yeah, these two are the non non centre non non centre centre backs. Defensive midfield. Uh, I used up two of our um, uh, form player slots. So all of them basically. Uh, I've got for defensive midfield. We've got Rafael Caroca. Is a Chilean. Um, he's done all of his career in Chile. So that's his first time outside that country. And we also have our most expensive loan of all, Gene Kennedy. And he's on us, uh, um, on loan to us from Colchester. A very, very expensive loan. I hope he doesn't disappoint. He's only played one game so far because he's been injured for the rest of the time. I've actually already played five games this season. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, Midfield, we have two new uh, young central midfielders, Jack Griffiths, uh, on a free transfer from Stoke. And we also have Kieran Morrison, who came to us on a free transfer from Liverpool. And then we also have um, some new players in the advanced midfield. So, um, where is the new player? Da, da, da. Nathan Lamini, 18 year old, uh, is playing in the AMR position. He's on loan to us from Blackburn. And then I, the rest of the players, I kind of juggled them around a little bit. So Josh Epia um, has been with us for a while now. And um, he's playing in the uh, AMR. I've switched Germ G Germain Francis to the left again. So he started on the left with us. Then last season he played on the right, and now he's going back to the left again. And then finally we still have uh, Kian Lefondre with us as well. And then in attack, two new players. We've got on loan, Sami Henya Kamal from Swansea. And then our other other form player, Paolo Guerrero, 41-year-old striker that played all over the world. So he started in Peru, that's his native country, and then went to the Bundesliga, then Brazil, then Argentina, then Ecuador. So 
you know, all over the place. And I think he's retiring now at the end of the season, so that's going to be his last season. Fantastic. So that's the new squad. Uh, you might have seen that... Uh, I can't remember which player it was, but we are now um, an affiliate of Man United. Affiliates. So we have a deal uh, with Man United. They give us a little bit of money every season and also the option to loan some of their players. So that's useful going into the future. Um, yeah, so the other news is also that we are improving our youth facilities. So we invested quite heavily in that and um, therefore we are in the red for the first time but actually I think we're doing good money overall so I'm not too concerned about that but it does mean that maybe next season we won't have quite so much um, transfer budget I actually didn't use any of the transfer budgets if you look at the transfers they were all, all free except for a few paid loans um, but I did move a lot of that transfer budget into the wage budget just so I could achieve this so I could have enough money for contracts so that's good. I've also filled our, you know, staff with the best I could find. So that's all jolly good. Now, looking at the home screen, you'll see I've played five matches already. And I've got 13 points. So, um... Drew one against Wrexham and won all the others. Um, so that leaves us at the moment currently in second place, which is a lot higher. I didn't, I didn't guess we would start this well in the league, so that is surprising. We did win um, the, our first Bristol Street Motors match, which I guess this replaces the Papa John's Cup, I guess. I'm guessing. Uh, and then the Carabao Cup, we lost against Derby, which is to be expected, because they are quite a big team compared to us. Now, next match is the Shrewsbury Hereford Derby, the A49 Derby, and we're going to go straight into it. <clears throat> got quite a full stadium I still haven't managed to convince the board to expand the stadium and now that they are improving the youth facilities I doubt it they're going to expand the stadium so we might fall into this financial spiral that I was talking about last episode about you know we don't have enough money to improve the stadium therefore we don't have enough money from receipts from gate receipts which means we don't have enough money to improve the stadium. So it's a bit of a spiral. It kind of goes into itself and just makes the whole thing worse. So I'm hoping the game's balanced itself out a little bit so we get money from other sources um, to, you know, fill up that debt that we've got going on at the moment. But yeah, I'm quite excited that the youth facilities are going to be improved. And um, the promise is that because we're doing essentially two updates at the same time. Like, do one youth improvement and then do another one right on top of it. The promise is that we will uh, get updated to the next youth level. So I'm hoping our youth team wins the wins the league. It would be nice for them to win a league before they get promoted to the next league. So we are 1-0 down here already with Shrewsbury at home. I think the fans are not going like, to like this very much. But we have two other um, rivals, uh, actually bigger than Shrewsbury I think. We've got the Kidderminster rivalry which is apparently, according to the game, quite, quite important, the most important. And then we have a smaller rivalry with Gloucester as well. And some others, but the other ones are, I guess, just small, localised ones. Not really a, any teams that we're going to encounter in the league. At any rate.
hoping this isn't a second goal. Oh, it is. Dang it. Okay, we can come back from that. We've done it before. It looks like we're in a pretty good position to be in the playoffs, which is really surprising, actually. Um, yeah, kind of surprising that we've been able to, to, to do that. But hoping we can stay there for the rest of the season or thereabouts. I very much doubt it will be able to win a third league in a row. That would be quite a feat, and I don't think we have the players for that. So I'm going to put Jermaine back in. I'm going to take Kieran out with a yellow card. I'm going to take Karaka out with a yellow card, put Jean in. Jean's still getting up to fitness. Uh, I guess I can get Philip in, and finally Sammy. Okay, all our subs in one go. Come on, guys. Oh, here we go. Got some sort of corner. Yeah, there we go. Corner. One goal. Two more. I think three more would be too much to ask. Two more we can probably do. No highlights at all. Okay, it looks like that's it. Three one is fine. close. All right, and that's it. So we'll come back again in January just to um, update you on how the league's going and also show any new transfers. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Take care. Bye-bye.